It's Arbiter G Vadim here, KG5 IWQ, with a interesting little tutorial or review, uh, review or show and tell, I guess. Um, so this is a little standard. Uh, let me see if I can. 32 volt, 20 amp, 32 volt fuse, bus fuse. So. If you don't know what a fuse is, a uh, fuse basically is a device used to protect circuits or any appliances. Um, if there's a short detected or too much power going through it, the fuse will bust in the middle, hint the bus fuse name, and um, it, will, it will create an open circuit and you'll have to change out your fuse. Uh, but you better inspect your appliance or whatever before you do so. So like I said, this is a... 20 amp fuse, I believe. Yeah, 20 amps. So. Yeah, it's not going to let me read it, but 20 amp. And there's our little contact in there. So, pretty simple. Pretty, pretty nice little thing. Now, how would you guys like to see a 80,000 amp fuse? Alright, give me a sec. Okay, this is a 80,000 amp fuse. Um, yes, 80,000 sounds like a lot. Uh, I believe this was used in a substation somewhere. Um, 80,000 amps. I put that on there, but the actual reading on there kind of got screwed up. But down there it does say 80,000. You can barely make it out. Um, 80,000 amps at 15.5 kilovolts, so 15.5 thousand volts of electricity, or volts in general. I mean, look at the size comparison of this monster. It is ridiculous. This is a big fuse, guys. Um, I want to call it substation fuse, but I don't know, well, shoot, I don't even know if that would be if I could be able to call that, that's just, it's just huge, that's, I mean, 80,000 amps, gosh, you might as well just have a, a piece of freaking steel I-beam in the socket connection, um, but yeah, it's a lot of power, so, uh, so it's fuse slash load interrupter, I don't believe it has a pyrotechnic charge, but these are the leads, and I actually have another one down there. Um, and actually, this, these two were designed, so they got, got another one right here, these two were designed so that they actually hook together, like that, you get the idea, and the other one would go right there, but it's down there, so, this is a good 20 pounds, um, I think it's filled with sand, I, I believe there's sand wire in it. And it's still alive, it works. Um, I tested it today, so I tried to pop it with my Mott Transformer. Yeah, that's funny. It's not gonna you're not gonna pop this thing. Um, not even a uh, any capacitor I know of could do it. Maybe photonic induction's uh, HV capacitor might be able to, but uh, photonic induction I think I beat you fuse wise in this one. Um, <laughs> and actually I think I beat a lot of people fuse wise on, on YouTube. Uh, 80,000 amp fuse is not something you come by every day. So, shoot, this thing is just massive. It's bigger than my freaking monitor. Look at that thing. Good God. Um, got this from the same place from the, the as the Neon Transformers, Yeah's Antiques. Love that place, man. They sells all the crazy electrical stuff. Um, crap. Oh, that's just, that is just stupid big. I mean, honestly? Really? <laughs> uh, but anyways, these connections are brass, so. This is brass, and these are silver. Interesting, huh? Silver connectors. So, as you can solder to them, and they, uh, they, they will, uh, get varnished pretty easily. So, silver connections. Don't know why they went for those, but, um, man, awesome, awesome stuff. 
don't think I'll ever be seeing anything like this ever again. So, you guys have a good one. I just figured I'd show you guys a, uh, a big, big freaking fuse. I don't even know what it'd be used for. Have a good one, guys. KG5, IWQ, or Arbiter G, and uh, Arbiter G, Adam, 73 for now.